Airplane. Yeah. Wouldn't it be crazy if it crashed into the building? That would be crazy, yeah. by the way. Yeah. These, these memory cards then would be worth a lot of money. Yeah. News organizations would pay through the live footage. We wouldn't see any of it. No, we wouldn't see any of it. <laughs> I bet Mike and Jay could sell it pretty yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. So at least in our deaths, our friends. <laughs> we'll profit. We'll profit. <laughs>《Jack, we played uh, Stardew Valley yes. recently. According to the Steam page, it is a country life RPG. It's a it's a socialization game. It's it's a farming game. It's it's a work ethic game. It's a simple life simulator. <laughs> mm -hmm. But what it really is is Harvest Moon. <laughs> this is this is old school. Like like sixteen bit harvest moon. Unapologetically harvest Un moon. Unapologetically, and you know what? I'm fine with that. <laughs> because Harvest Moon was a good game mm -hmm. and the series started to suck. Hmm. I think you, you nailed it when you said a work ethic simulator. Because like the, the crux of this game really is farming. You need to farm and take care of your crops or livestock every single day in order to earn money to buy new stuff. It's, it's even more than that though. It's, it's a game about building something out of nothing. Mm -hmm. The plot of the game. Because you know, it doesn't really care that much about a, a story <laughs> or even an ending. Right. Is your your grandfather dies? Yes. And he leaves you uh, his farm, mm -hmm. and and you're working some horrible soul sucking office job, mm -hmm. and you decide, fuck it all. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go work my grandfather's old farm, and you get there, and the farm is a wreck because mm -hmm. your grandfather was a terrible farmer. Because trees are overgrown. This, this, this trees, they have to be like 60 years old. Yeah. So your grandfather, when he owned the farm, those trees were all over the fucking place. He didn't give a shit. And there's boulders everywhere. How the fuck did those boulders get there? He was growing boulders. He was growing boulders? He's a boulder farmer. <laughs> so, you know, what, what happens is they start you off with, with nothing. A, a farm that's just in ruins. And through hard work, because mm -hmm. you have to work at fixing things up every day, you turn this wreck into a beautiful, functioning, vibrant farm. Yes. With crops and animals and all these things. And it started out of the dirt. You, the, the theme of the game is you just taking the dirt and growing something. Yeah, yeah. I do think that the story of the game, the little story of the game that we do get is incredibly ironic because your character leaves the repetitive dreary office job in order to grow plants so they can sell the plants, so they can buy seeds, so they can grow more plants, so they can sell the plants, so they can buy more seeds, so they can grow more plants, so they can sell the plants and buy more seeds. That's a very interesting point. <laughs> <laughs> I, and you are building. You are building towards something. The game is very repetitive good, bad, otherwise. You are doing the exact same you, thing. You do have your routine. You get a routine. You you, you wake up, yeah. you water the plants. You gotta do that first thing. You refill the can, you water the rest of the plants. Yep. And then you, you walk to the chicken coop and you, you pet your chickens. You have to pet all of your chickens. Then you feed your chickens, then you, you take the eggs, then you go to the cows and you milk the cows and you pet the cows Absolutely. and you feed the cows. Actually, before you go to the cows, first you need to take the eggs to your mayonnaise machine because that takes four in-game hours to make the mayonnaise. So put the eggs in, then go pet your cows, feed your cows, and milk your cows so you can go back in order to switch out the eggs for new eggs to make more mayonnaise and you put your, che your milk in the cheese machine. Then the next day, you do the same thing again. This is my, I, I have a, I have a, a love-hate, mostly hate relationship with this game. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I respect a lot of the things they were trying to accomplish, and I think they accomplished them very well. But Jesus H. Chrism was I bored. <laughs> <laughs> like all the time. Were you 
biting off more than you can chew. Uh, some days, some days I was pushing it. Some days I, I just take it like, oh, I just go fishing. I'm like, this is my fishing day, and I'm just gonna go fishing today and uh, fish. You know, you can get some decent money selling fish. And because uh, here's here's the kicker. Yeah. Here's the kicker, right? You don't have to do any of this. They give you the farm yeah. and some tools. You don't have to be the most productive farm nope. in all the world. If you want, you just plant a few patches of seeds here and there, mm -hmm. have a couple animals, take it fairly easy. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to bust your nutsack to have a, a, a <laughs> oh, super farm! So much corn! There's also like a, a leisure. They, 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 want, they, want, they want you to feel that small town life. Yeah. Because in addition to the farm, the other, the other half of this game is socializing with people. Yep. Uh, you make friends. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go to the, the little the rancher lady and you give her egg every day. Mm -hmm. And eventually she becomes your friend and she likes you. She sends you her recipes for, for cookies or something like that. Mm -hmm. And she says hi to you when you mm -hmm. enter the store. I, I was wooing a couple ladies. Wooing? Is there wooing, wooing in this game? Because this sounds important. This, uh, you know, if, if, uh, if, if you uh, see someone who is single and you give them presents, eventually, if you get enough hearts, if they like you enough, you can get married. There is marriage in this game. Oh my god! And so there are a couple ladies, uh, Penny, the school teacher, adorable lady, and Leia, the local artist. I was definitely heading towards Leia. Le Leia's nice. I liked Penny though. You know why? She spends all she spends all of her day in the library just reading books, and I, I think I could deal with Penny's that. Penny's a sweet lady, but she's also a stick in the butt. Penny? Let's, let's be honest. But Penny's had a hard oh, life. She's a hard life. She's kind of hard. Hard. I don't want to be married. I'd like to share an example of, of this game. The, the very, the most exciting thing that happened to me while playing this game, and I think after I tell the story, a lot of people will know whether or not this is a game for them. Mm -hmm. Here it was. The most exciting thing that happened to me while I was playing the game was uh, I had just built my chicken coop. And I wanted to build a nice wood path that goes from my front door of my house to my chicken coop. I thought that would look really nice, and you know, if you build a yeah. wood path, uh, weeds won't grow up in it, so you don't need to worry about cutting the grass. Uh, but I had already used my hoe and like tried to dig up the ground there, and you can't build a wood path on uh, dirt. You need ground, and <laughs> the difference between dirt and ground is very important in this game. <laughs> and so I built all the wood path that I could, but there were like three patches that I needed to wait for the ground to grow back over the dirt. And so every couple of days I'd go back and, oh, here's another patch of ground. I can make my, my wood path now. And eventually all the ground came back and I was able to make a complete walking path from my front door to my chicken coop. And that was the most exciting thing that happened to me while playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it feels good. <laughs> once once you, you turn that that patch of empty land into a, a functional thing. A, a, I have a barn. I own a barn now, yeah. is what you think. Mm -hmm. It's just a video game. It's just pixels on a screen, but that's your barn. When, when, you, when you upgrade your house, you're upgrading your house. Mm -hmm. It's like, I have a little home now. I'm now a homeowner. You, it, like, there are some aspects of it that are really nice, like with the farming. You can you can like fence off like an orchard area and you say, oh, this is where my trees will be and this is where my corn will grow and up here I'm gonna build a bee houses and make a flower patch and that is very nice. It's all cute, it's all fun. It's all part of the system that is <laughs> terribly, terribly boring. <laughs> uh, is it boring or is it, I say I find it strangely relaxing. It's. <laughs> it's escapism into a, a, a different world. It is. It's the, the country life fantasy. Maybe, maybe this, is, this is good old Jack who grew up on a farm and knows what farming is and uh, I don't give a shit about farming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've lived it. I li I've lived it. <laughs> there, there are, you know, adventure games, fighting games that make you feel powerful. 
Racing games, they make you feel fast. Puzzle games make you feel smart. What, what does this do? Just make, it makes you do chores. But it's good, honest chores that end up paying off eventually. <laughs> I appreciate so much of this game. You dictate the pace. Mm -hmm. And I really liked how they forced me to think ahead. Mm -hmm. What do you want to accomplish today? Oh, oh, what do I want? You know what I want? I want a stable. Yeah, because the goals you set for yourself. Yeah. There's not like a, a linear progression, like now I have to get the barn. <laughs> like, well, do you want a chicken coop or do you want a barn? Or do you yeah. want two chicken coops? Right. Well, you can build a stable. Mm -hmm. But all of the time in between was repetitive, boring nonsense. Okay, oh, well, I need 500 wood. Chop, I'm going to hold this button and chop this tree. Then I'm going to go over to this tree and hold this button and chop this tree. Then I'm gonna go over to this tree and hold this button and chop this tree. Then I'm gonna hold the button and chop this tree. Well, you don't have to do this. I mean, you could you could switch it up. Maybe maybe today you chop the wood. Maybe tomorrow you do the fishing. Sure. Maybe the day after that you, you do a little bit of mining. Sure. You can you can switch it up. You can, but I will argue that each individual task is terribly and dreadfully boring. <laughs> I will, I will attribute some of your complaints to the, the vast amount of time you get in the game. I know it feels short to you, <laughs> but it feels really long to me where I have no trouble doing all of the repetitive things every day. There's not that, that time crunch to get all of your crops watered before the festival starts in, oh, three seconds. <laughs> but it's like, even if there, even if there was a time crunch, you're just, you're going up to, you know, water here, move a little, water here, move a little, water here, every single fucking day. I built a well here yeah, so yeah. I can get here. So I'm gonna move here, water here, move here, water here. Gotta pet my dog. You gotta pet your dog. I don't know if you need to put water in his dish. You need to pet dish. your dog. You need to pet your dog. You don't need to pet your dog. Did you you don't get anything out of your fucking dog in this game. The Honestly, dog is just the, useless. I don't, I don't understand the purpose. I thought it might have scared away crows, but you need scarecrows for that. I don't know what the value of the dog is. There's no value. There's no dog. value in the dog, other than, other than the fantasy of having a farm with a dog. Exactly. Exactly. This game is all about the fantasy escapism. Of okay. simple life. Simple life, yeah. Uh, a, a life, by the way, where uh, from, uh, from someone who grew up in the simple life, a life that we strive to get out of. <laughs> Grass is always greener, Jack. Grass is, <laughs> Grass is always greener. Grass is a, you damn city kids. You damn city kids think it's going to be so great on the farm. Especially when you grow it yourself. <laughs> just just wait, till, wait till you have no internet access and the only movie you can watch is Supergirl on VHS. Then, then we'll see how happy you are on a farm. Let's talk about mining. Yeah. Let's talk about the combat system. I wish there wasn't one. Because everything I say about the, the simple life escapism is, is ruined by f fighting monsters. So you have a mine, and you need to go down the mines to get resources like copper ore or iron ore so you can smelt that into bars to make your stuff. Yeah. But for some reason, there are little monsters down there and you have to fight the monsters while mining for resources. I don't think it's terrible combat. As a mini game in another game, it's okay. It's just, it's horribly out of place in a Harvest Moon game, which is called Stardew Valley now. Well, and like there are little fantasy elements. There's apple ghosts. Far what are land spirits, which kind of 
you could argue fits in with farming yes. and whatnot. Well, that's all I'm saying. There, there, there is a bit of a fantasy element, and you have to make offerings to the apple ghosts to get rewards, and so there's ghosts and the slime monsters. I'm just saying it's as out of place as, like, I don't know, Superman knocking over buildings that are filled with people and, yes. like, smashing people through concrete walls. Mm -hmm. You, you know, you wouldn't associate that with Superman. It's just, it's out of place. It's it's like uh, as out of place as say like Batman wearing an Iron Man combat suit and using guns. Yes, it would be. It would like if Batman would ever use guns, uh, that would that would be like as out of place as fighting the slime monsters in okay. Stardew Valley. Okay. Okay. Craft me some walls. <laughs> I, I'm using the stone fences around my crop. I have a couple little crop areas. I was so upset with like the durability on like the, the regular wooden walls and oh, the stone yeah. walls. I'm just going, I'm going straight to the hardwood now for everything. You're pain in the butt to find it all. You, you know, you can make iron fences that, that last, uh, I think, uh, up to a year. Up to a year? Yeah. Yeah, I know, well, I know the hardwood's supposed to last the longest. Sure. Like so. my, my stone fences lasted two seasons and then started to crumble, but I just like the way they look. I don't like the aesthetic on the iron you fences. Don't, well, oh yeah, no, the iron I think looks dumb. I like my stone fences. They look good. They look good and you know, like rock is a pretty easy to come by resource. And so like making more stone fences isn't really that hard. This is the exciting back and forth it's, of the- It's <laughs> landscaping. It's, it's, your, it's your fantasy place and you can do whatever the fuck, it's like, especially when, you know, it meant more to me when I was a little bit younger. I'm yeah. an old man now. Yeah. And it means less to me now, but when I was younger, it's like, this is my property. It was like the fantasy of having a life when I didn't have one <laughs> quite yet. That's what it is. It's like this, yeah. I'm, 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 I am arranging my pond with the grass and the trees on my, my property that I own. And I'm gonna paint my house because I own a house, and I can paint, it's something I can paint, and yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. And I get it. And and here's here's the other thing is I think they did it well. Like all of it's there, all all of the elements are there to make that game. Where if that's what you want to do, it's great. But it's just for me, every every day was tedium. I, I think didn't you didn't you like Firewatch? Fire, Firewatch had a very nice narrative. It's, this is a very popular game right now. Yeah. Very popular, re, like high up on Steam's bestseller list. Everybody is streaming it. Everybody is let's playing this. And I think this game is perfect for streamers. Really? Perfect. Uh, it's really adorable and completely mindless. You, you, so, you know what? You, you have beautiful visuals and while you're watering the grass, you can, oh, I'll talk about the latest movie that's out. I'll jibber with, the, with, your, with your streaming audience. Mm. I'll get one, don't worry. I want to get seeds planted. Seeds planted and watered. It's very important to me. We got, all right. People new to this game, this is the, the calendar. This game's year is only like four months long, and every month is just a full season. My, my thoughts are kind of the, the opposite. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I think this is the distraction from like a dreary real life. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's the fantasy escapist world. Mm. Yeah. Because it, it means less to me now than it did when I was playing Harvest Moon as like a 19 year old. But <laughs> But it's that world you want to be in to get a little bit lost in, just a little bit. Sure. I mean, like, like I said, I think all of the gameplay elements are there and done very well. I loved how long a day was. I loved the time management. I loved the open-ended goals. But getting to them was so boring to me. Just go chop down the wood now. Chopping down the wood now. It teaches hard work. It, it just... <laughs> Which is hard work and determination. 
<laughs> and you are a heartless monster. I'm not a heartless monster. Even though two episodes ago, I was a heartless <laughs> monster. Now you can be the heartless monster, Jack. I, I grew up on a farm. I'm a homeowner. I deal with that shit in real life. I want to fight a monster. I, <laughs> I want... I want, I want, like, to go on a grand adventure in my escapism, and, and... You like Firewatch! <laughs> Firewatch was a good yeah. personal story. Firewatch was about losing a loved one. Uh, my wife is still alive. My wife isn't dealing with early onset dementia. I don't need to experience that, because Firewatch does it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I, I only... And that's the thing, you complained endlessly about having to walk around in Firewatch, and here you're walking around I, watering no, plants! No, no, in Firewatch you're walking around accomplishing basically nothing. <laughs> here I am farming, I am watering crops, nope. I am mining, nope. mining, I am growing things, I, I'm building a chicken coop, <laughs> I'm making my chickens love me, I'm making friends with love, I am doing you things. Gotta, Every day I'm doing a ton of things. Monotonous things, you're doing, you're, you're mindlessly, you gotta pet the chickens, you gotta, gotta take the eggs, you gotta feed the chickens, you gotta, you gotta feed the cows. Oh, it's winter now, so we gotta, we gotta make sure we're stocked up on grass because the summer season's almost over, so we gotta cut the grass to put in the silo to feed the chickens. But before you get the but silo, I, you gotta get the rocks and you gotta get the iron. But I cannot wait to build that new mayonnaise machine, Jack. I'm gonna make some delicious mayonnaise no! and I'm gonna cook some <laughs> wonderful dishes for my friends in the town. <laughs> and see that, a lot of these conversations that we're having, I cannot wait to build my new mayonnaise machine, perfectly encapsulates the game. If you are into like the setting up of building a mayonnaise machine, like you will love this game. But for some of us, there, <laughs> I, like, how, could, how could we be so polar opposite of what we were just two episodes ago? It's so weird. Every game is different. It's a personal experience. I only really have three complaints. Okay. A little bit too leisurely with the time. Like this is a, this is a fan game, and I, I, I want to say point out, made by one man. Made by one man. One man made the entire game. Everything. What was his name here? Uh, Eric Barone. Yes. And I, I think he just didn't like the hectic pace of the earlier Harvest Moon games. And said, well, you have a lot of time in the day to do shit this. So I, I don't think that that helps the feeling of monotony when you water the crops, rather than gotta water the crops, water the crops, oh, I gotta run and do this. It's, it's, you, you, you gotta hurry up and do it in the older Harvest Moon games. Mm -hmm. So that, there's that. I don't much like the layout of the town. The town looks like buildings, there's one nice fountain, and everything else just like this randomly, the buildings just lying around in the woods. Have you ever been to a country town? I guess I have they're, not. Literally, they're just anywhere. Like, <laughs> they have no city planning whatsoever. And the music. Yeah, yeah. music's pretty lame. I, I, the good thing is that it does support mods. Mm. So, you know, now the review's done, I might mod some music in. Mm. Maybe in some classic Harvest Moon music. Oh. So this is, there's, people, there's people working on adding to this game. And it's got a large fan base. Mm. I'm, I'm very curious to see what modding does to Stardew Valley. Hmm. Might get some neat shit. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The, um, my real biggest complaint about the game, above and beyond all of my other, like, you know, boredom, tedious, whatever, is when you are creating your avatar, your character, there is no option to be a bald man. discrimination. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> no finals or whatever. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> I liked parts of it. I you know people will know whether they'll like this game or not. Here, and here's a real thing. It's like $15. I'm in late winter of my first year, and I'm almost 30 hours in, and it's a $15 game. Yeah. Fucking hell, man. For $15, you can take a risk on a game. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you're on the fence as far as a simple life RPG farming simulator is concerned, it's, I think there's enough good in it. 
Certainly, if you're a fan of the 16 earlier, the earlier Harvest Moon games, you're a fan of those, Absolutely. right up your alley. Absolutely. You know, you call it a work ethic simulator. Yeah. Like, I also think it's like a life balance simulator because yeah. you do need to, you know, spend some time cultivating friendships and you need to spend some time working. And if you spend all of your time working, the people in town won't be your friends. And so it kind of did you a good work life. Well, see, here's, here's the nice thing though. You don't have to. You, know? you could you could balance your time evenly between mm -hmm. work and play, or you just do all play, all fishing, all socializing. If you yes. really if you really wanted to, I guess that's true. Yeah, I guess that's true. But then you won't get that barn. Or if you're a heartless businessman, workaholic, you just farm all day and you have this giant fucking massive farm, raking can, raking millions. They're gonna love me. Now. But at the end of the day, you just feel empty. They're gonna love me, and now, now I'm alone. Because really, you've already bought everything. You just got this money. It's sitting around doing nothing. And what have you? What have you really done with your life? Yeah, but you know, Penny lives in a trailer, so I bet she'd be down for a little cash for a BJ. <laughs> That's I'm not. Putting yes, that. you are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I love Penny. I love Penny. <laughs> well, then leave that part in too. Okay.